Well, if you guys saw in the thumbnail, it was another big night at Walmart, but I am hoping next week to skip Walmart entirely. So this week, I had no choice but to double down. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share my weekly grocery haul and meal plan with you guys. And today I went into Walmart and spent a little bit more than I had intended on spending, but I really think that I'm going to avoid Walmart altogether next week completely. So the girls are coming next weekend and we are going away to Asheville. And so I think that before we go, we're gonna take a trek together to BJ's and Trader Joe's, which to me is absolutely amazing because I started watching these girls by watching their grocery hauls. So to go shopping with them is like still super surreal. So I'm really looking forward to that. But when we come home early Sunday morning, I really think that it being St. Patrick's Day and it just being a holiday, we just want to kind of kick back and relax. I don't want to do my grocery shopping that day. So I think I'm going to fulfill my week's worth in whatever I get in Trader Joe's and BJ's. So I'll share my meal plan next week in either my Trader Joe's or my BJ's haul, whichever one's shorter, and I can attach the meal plan to that. Um, and then that's it. I think I'm going to skip Walmart. So because of that, I doubled down this week. So I got everything I would need that I won't get next week, if that makes any sense. So let me take you down to the counter and I'll show you what I spent $191 on in Walmart this week. Okay guys, so here is an overview of what I got at Walmart today, what my $191 got me, and let me tell you, it looks like green threw up on this countertop. So I have so many things planned between St. Patrick's Day lunches for Jacob, and then St. Patrick's Day themed dinners throughout the week, and then actually St. Patrick's Day on Sunday, and then my girls coming in for the weekend and like needing to buy things for that. I don't even know, like, it's a whole load of green, but we'll get into all the good things that I have planned once we get there. So I did pick up a big things of eggs, of course. Um, I still probably have about a dozen, but um, I'm gonna make egg salad and stuff this week and I have a lot of egg usage. So I did pick up another 18 pack. I picked up these little Peeps Sour Watermelon, just one pack, they were only a dollar. I don't know if Jake will like this, but he does like marshmallow, and he does like anything sour and watermelon. So I'm kind of thinking he may like this. I don't even know if he's ever had a Peep before, but I was looking for green things. And for the most part, there was nothing in Walmart that was St. Patrick's Day. It's just kind of more Easter related. So I picked this up. Hopefully he'll like it, but it was just something to like put in his lunch that was green themed. And then here are two different kinds of Oreo cookies. So this is the Great Value Twist and Shout, which is the double filled, like their take on these, the double stuffed Oreos. So I got one of each of these because we're actually going to do a contest with Jake when the girls were here. This was Madison's idea, but if you guys know, I've said Jake's an Oreo snob. I've tried the ones from Brandless. He didn't like the ones from Lidl. He didn't like the ones from Aldi. And the ones from Aldi taste better than a regular Oreo to me. I don't know. He's so particular but I think a lot has to do with his issues and his sensory that for Jake it's all mind over matter if he knows it's not an Oreo he won't eat it so we're gonna do a blind taste test with Jake we are gonna film it I'm not so sure whose channel it's gonna go on I actually told Madison she should take the reins because this was all her idea but if she doesn't want to post it I will but we're gonna do a 10 cookie challenge so she's bringing Oreos from Kroger and Vanessa's bringing some from H-E-B and we've got Walmart and we've got them pretty much stocked all over. So we have 10 different Oreo cookies that we're gonna lay out for Jake and do a blind taste test for him. So I'm super excited. I'm dying to show my kid that there are Oreo cookies out there that taste just like a regular Oreo and the ones from Brandless are non-GMO and they taste just like an Oreo. So if I can get him to see he could eat that, then Maybe he will choose the healthier version of that instead of these kind. So we shall see, but I'm excited. I think he's going to fail. So I, I'm curious, because I think that it will do him good to see that. 
Uh, this is the only St. Patrick's Day thing that I saw really, and it's just these sugar cookies with the green frosting on them and the sprinkles. You can see that my children already broke into them while I was unloading the groceries onto the table, um, but this was just for Jake's St. Patrick's Day lunches, and then I'll probably give this to him now, tomorrow, since the kids already broke into it, and this way they can have some too. Uh, I did get a whole gallon this time, you guys, of the Great Value Orange Juice. We really liked it last week. So good that this time I decided to get a gallon. So this was not bad. $3 for a gallon of orange juice we like. Like, I'm all about that life. So I got that and two gallons of our 2% milk. One thing of the Honeycrisp apple juice. I cannot wait to go to BJ's and get the big Honeycrisp apple juice things. Like, I hate buying this little one each time. I got two things of crescent rolls to make those little Danish that Vanessa likes when she comes and I got lemon cream of course for her and we're going to make lemon danishes for her for when she's here um, I got roasted garlic salsa I need that for a recipe I got blackberries and of course these sweet bites you guys those are seriously like the best cherry tomatoes of life I got two green peppers and I'm actually going to use these as a hull for dip. So one of them is going to have a hot beer and cheese dip and the other one has going to have a cold beer and cheese dip. So I'm excited to use those because they look like a little clover when you cut the top. So that'll be good. I got cabbage of course for corned beef and cabbage. I got three of these coconut snowball yogurts. Um, I really like them but I know Vanessa likes it and so does Madison so I thought this would be a good thing for us to eat when we're just getting into the car or Monday when we're packing them up to get ready to leave. Like just something quick. So I grabbed that and then I I really love the strawberry rhubarb noosa. So I got that one. And then I got a big tub of sour cream for tons of potato recipes, a thing of Triscuits. All right, Jen Phelan, I got a shout out to you. You reached out to me on Facebook and said, hey, just to let you know, I saw the Baja Blast back in my Walmart. And girl, you were not kidding. I like went down the aisle today and I was like, yes, there they are. And I haven't had it. I don't know, out of the bottle like this in probably six months. So I completely treated myself. I got the Baja Blast for me and the regular Mountain Dew for Daryl. But we just like those. I've mentioned before that my refrigerator in the garage is like lethally cold because it never gets open. So I love storing drinks out there because they're just like as ice cold as colds can get. So this is like good for us to just take quickly on the go. And then I got Vanessa the bubbly sparkling water and the apple. She actually likes all of the different flavors, but it's St. Patrick's Day, so I went with the green one, so I got that. And then just a few meals for Jake. Um, he's been coming home and he's still hungry even after lunch. So I just got him a Swedish meatballs. I got a fettuccine Alfredo with chicken and broccoli, which is kind of green themed. He could take that for um, a lunch this week and then a cheeseburger macaroni. I got mushrooms and a thing of bananas. I got a big thing of chicken breast to use for the week. Of course, I got a watermelon and a big head of romaine lettuce. I got three of these buckets of popcorn. I don't know why they say a dollar on them because they keep bringing up for 94 cents. So I'm not complaining, I'll take it. All right, guys, I've never seen this before. Sour cream and onion smart food popcorn. Like, OMG, like what? And it has little green speckles on it, so I picked this up, of course, for Jake's lunches. Um, but that was just so super cute. I've never seen that before. And he loves sour cream and onions, so I think he's going to like it. Uh, they did not have our bowls, guys. Like, seriously, we still have like three quarters of a bag, but that chicken Azteca from last week was so bomb that we just kept eating the leftovers with the chips. And so we broke into that backup bag. And I went to get more backup bags. They didn't have it. So I got the just the regular restaurant-style white corn chips. Um, I got another pack of pull-ups for Mason. I would not normally need them this week, but since I'm not going next week, like I said, I had to be proactive. They actually didn't have my three pack of the cucumber wipes again either. So I just got one pack of these. We still have some water wipes from last week, which I will say I do like the water wipes. However, I like things with scent. And since the water wipes are like just water, they don't have a very like refreshing scent. So I like them, but I probably won't go back to them. These are probably some of the best wipes I've ever had. So no three pack, just got one. That should do me until I go back two weeks from now. Um, got two things of lemon cake mix. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing with that during the meal plan. Uh, I got a Selects Nor White Cheddar Broccoli with Cavatappi Pasta. That's for another green themed lunch for Jake this week. 
Uh, I'm actually going to cut one of these pizzas into a clover as a lunch for him this week, so that's why I got those. <clears throat> A bunch of green stuff here um, obviously for like cupcakes and stuff so I'm gonna do green cupcakes to send in um, to Daryl's job that's for what one of the cake mixes are for so got green liners and then the cake mix to send in cupcakes for St. Patrick's Day and then here is the green icing this is for these cookies that I'm going to make they're pretty neat they're like a thin mint and then you dunk a marshmallow and chocolate and you stick it on top of the thin mint so it looks like a leprechaun hat and then you use the green green icing and you like go around the um, hat like a ribbon and it looks super cute I thought the kids would have just fun putting it together so I got that and then I got these little things I was looking for green and white sprinkles but like I said um, it was either pastel where I had pinks and purples or like they had nothing that I wanted but I wanted to do something fun with like hollowing out the cupcake putting like a surprise kind of candy inside so I got these green chocolate pearls. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to use them, but we'll see if I'm able to manipulate something fun with them. I picked up the spring iced brownies because I like the sunshine with the clouds. I think I'm going to stick like a lucky charm rainbow right here so it looks St. Patrick's Day-ish, if that makes any sense. It says pot of gold, so that kind of makes me feel like that's St. Patrick's Day, although they say spring, so I don't know. I got that, and then I also got these mint cream rolls. Um, a girlfriend sent something to me and said that these taste like a thin mint or something, so if that be the case, that sounds really good. Daryl will like that, so I picked those up to try. Here are these big marshmallows that we're going to cover in the chocolate to stick on the Thin Mint for the hats. And then here are the mini marshmallows that I needed to make the Rice Krispie Treats with the Lucky Charms. I picked up a box of mac and cheese for the little kids to have on Saturday night with dinner. I got these Ritz crackers for Daryl for his squeezed cheese. So I actually had chicken and a biscuit in the cart and I texted him and I was like, this is what you want for your cheese, right? And he said, no Ritz crackers. That really shocked me. He always loved chicken and a biscuit with his um, squeezed cheese, but I guess he's truly changing. So um, he asked for Ritz crackers and I got him the fresh stacks because I thought that would help him with portion control. So, you know, just doing the eight crackers, I don't see him going into another sleeve. So I thought this was smarter to get this. And hopefully, like I said, that'll help um, crave his portions when he does that. Uh, a big thing of diapers for Maya, they didn't have the little pack. So I was like, forget it. How can we waste? You know, it's not going to go to waste. Um, she's still not She's close to potty training, but not quite there. So we'll still be using them. Got the Walmart version of the Pringles and the sour cream and onion for Jake's lunches. Two things of veggies, the broccoli and cauliflower and the green beans for his lunches. Uh, got a thing of corned beef, of course, for corned beef and cabbage. Got a thing of cold cut ham, that's for green eggs and ham this week. Excited about that. Got a big thing of wings, so I can do wings in the air fryer and show Vanessa like my obsession with them. Uh, I got these green extreme wellness spinach and herb wraps. Lots of fun things planned with this. I'm excited like quesadilla for Jake. I'm going to do a wrap in them. And I'm actually going to use a clover cutter and cut out clovers of this and bake chips for clover shaped chips and salsa. So excited about that. Got a pack of Scott paper towels. We needed paper towels. Got a, another double pack thing of the cream cheese. Have a couple of recipes that need cream cheese, not to mention those danishes require cream cheese as well. And then I did get a big block of cheddar cheese. Even though I bought that Mexi-Melt blend last week, a lot of the recipes that I'm cooking require you to use like blocked cheddar cheese as far as like melting on top of things like nachos or something like that. Some of these recipes say that the block cheese melts better than the already pre-grated cheese. So because of that, I got a big one pound block of the grape value sharp cheddar cheese. And then I did get a thing of the Scott's toilet paper. And then I got these. Daryl asked if I could grab some kind of ice cream. And so I grabbed the Great Value cookie dipped with chocolate cone. So that's pretty neat. We usually get like the brand name of these cones, but I never really saw the chocolate cone. So it's the chocolate cone with the chocolate fudge at the bottom and then those three flavors. So that was pretty different and neat. I know that 
today it was like 70 degrees and when it starts getting warmer we start craving like an ice cream cone at night or something so that's what i picked that up for and that is it guys so that is it for this week's grocery haul now let's get into the meal plan Okay, guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, March the 11th through Sunday, March the 17th, which is St. Patrick's Day. So Monday, the day you guys are seeing this, is my dad's birthday, so happy birthday to my dad. And then this also kicks off our week to do like Irish or green themed things. Now, some things I was a little subtle on and not like super Irish or green, just because I want to carry some things into next week as well, being that St. Patrick's Day is Sunday and we're going to do corned beef and cabbage. We're going to have leftovers. I want to do Rubens and stuff. So I didn't want to overwhelm us too much, but I still tried to have a little fun with it. So tonight we're going to do green eggs and ham. So like a little food coloring and some eggs with that grilled up ham and then I have hash browns and watermelon so I thought that would be fun and then tomorrow is shepherd's pie so that's like a real traditional Irish meal and actually Daryl's like favorite thing that I make so we're going to do that with a Caesar salad and then those Claudia bakery rolls that I get from the Dollar Tree uh, on Wednesday, I have a couple of anniversary shout outs. So my best friend Jill and her husband, that is their anniversary as well as my neighbors. So happy happy anniversary to the both of them. And that day I'm going to do chicken roll up. So that's not really Irish or anything. That's just a tradition of mine to put that on the menu like once a month. And I don't even think we've had it yet this year. So I'll link in the I cards up above and down below if you want to check out my cooking video for this. But these things are bomb they're absolutely amazing they're like a chicken burrito um, but then I want to do those shamrock chips and salsa and queso to kind of go with that so I thought that would be a cute little play um, on how to bring the green theme in with the roll-ups on Thursday is a bump a meal that's that cheeseburger bacon mac salad we didn't get a chance to do that last week and I was really disappointed because it was the one thing on the menu I was like super excited for um, that was the day we had to go and like hand in for our new phones and that took hours I didn't even get my phone right away like I had to go back and get it the next day because it took so long for it to pour over all of my information so we kind of came home and just like did leftovers and stuff um and then friday starts like our crazy day and weekend so friday is when the girls come in vanessa and madison will arrive and that's the day we're going to go shopping and do bj's and trader joe's so i think i'm just going to pack like egg salad sandwiches for us in the car as soon as we get here we're going to jump in my car and head out bj's and trader joe's are like huge events because i since i don't go like for very long periods of time I stock up when I go so I feel like it's a long trip it's an hour and a half to two hours just in travel time plus the shopping and then coming home to film everything so those days are usually pretty crazy um, so I'm just gonna order pizza for dinner it's also a Friday so it's a meatless night so we're just gonna do plain old regular pizza like Papa John's or something like that it'll make my life super simple and I'm looking forward to that um, and then I'm also going to meal prep that day so I'm gonna meal prep for my kids for the next day because that's the day that the girls and I are leaving to go to Asheville for the day so I'm going to meal prep some fried chicken cutlets so that the kids can have like just it like chicken nuggets or they can put it on a sandwich and do a chicken cutlet sandwich and then all Daryl will have to do is make a mac and cheese at night and then they'll be good to go so chicken and mac and cheese is what they have and then the girls and I will go out to eat we actually were gonna do like a really fun foodie tour but with Vanessa's back, all of that walking, and then I don't really know. It seems kind of expensive for what we were going to get. So I think we're just going to wing it and find a place to eat. But um, I'm looking forward to it because last time I went to Asheville, I only went to the Biltmore. and never got to look around. So I'm a little excited about that. And then while I'm meal prepping, I'm also going to make some lemon cupcakes. So I showed you guys with those cupcake things. Like, I don't really know what I want to do. I kind of want to make like the little candies inside, but I want to do green frosting. So in one way, it'll look like a lemon, the lemon cupcake with the green frosting. And that'll be kind of cute because Vanessa will be here. And on the flip side, it'll be filled with the green candy with the green wrappers and it'll be like yellow and green. So I'll also play off the same patch. Day for Daryl to bring into his job. So that's my whole plan for dessert. 
And then we stay over that night in Asheville, but we come home Sunday, like early afternoon. So we're going to get up and do the Biltmore in the morning, and then we're heading home. Daryl's off this day, and so we plan on just kind of hanging out, playing cards, having a couple of drinks, and I have a big spread planned. So I'm going to prep the corned beef and cabbage in the crock pot, so all he has to do is turn it on. And then I'm going to do that hot and the cold beer and cheese dip. I think I'm going to do wings that night, and I think I'm going to save one of those Guinness pies that I made yesterday and use it for that night. So we should have tons of like Irish themed food for that day. We have a bunch of blue moon and like beers. Like I'm really excited about coming home and hanging out on Sunday. So that is our Sunday plan. That is also my stepfather-in-law's birthday. So happy birthday, Pep. Like a super busy, crazy week, you guys. Like so much going on, but all fun stuff, super celebrations, making tons of memories. I really love it. And you know, the Biltmore for me, it's super exciting to do that because I did vlog this with Daryl when we went the first time. It was my very first vlog. It's a hot mess, you guys. Like, I didn't even know how to put music to anything, but it was really fun. And now I'm looking forward to going again. This is more like a business trip for me than it is just going to hang out with the girls because I'm looking forward to vlogging the Biltmore. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's the largest remaining mansion in the United States and it's owned by the Vanderbilts, like the Vanderbilts. And so if look it up online, it's absolutely exquisite. And I'm looking forward to going back there and like revlogging my experience and having a good time. All that stuff is a write-off. It's just, it's like a little business trip where you get to enjoy what you're doing, which is part of the reason why I love my job. So super excited, great weekend, and I am looking forward to all of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. I post a grocery haul and meal plan every week here on the channel. And for everybody else, guys, I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.